Game one. Light starts with full hop down air. Why? I'll explain why. The reason light starts with full hop down air is because that move auto cancels and combos. Uh, Larry even did this back in Smash Wii U. Smash 4 for the Wii U. Um, but basically what happens is the final hit, it, it's, it launches them with like a decent amount of knockback to set up for up air change and other types of combos. Usually you, you, you do this and then get some up airs. Uh, Leo blocks it and gets a down throw. Another thing, you actually can't DI Joker's down throws. Did you know that certain moves like, you know, like Steve's up tilt at zero, Joker's down throw at zero, you know, if no rage, uh, Samus is down throw at zero. These moves are so weak, it doesn't let you DI them. So there's a lot of value to Joker al always doing the autopilot down throw at zero. The typical combo would be to down throw fair dash attack, but on a fast fall like Fox, you can optimize by doing down throw fair into regrab. And then you can easily raw bear if they DI away or still up air or react with whatever area if they DI in. All right, here he tries to gun down. He makes it in time, but Light saves his double jump and is able to double jump afterwards. Gets the Arsene counter. That's a frame three counter. No drag down this time. He just wants the safer combo. So right there, he could do a drag down, but here he's like, no drag down. Drag down into tech chase is a mix up. So fair, fair, up air. He tried, he tried to, Leo tried to escape, but both his counter and his air dodge are not until frame three. So he did not get out in time. Leo could have back aired here, but he wasn't. He really wanted the down air to up smash. Leo loves with both Pyre and Joker. He loves the down air up smash. Like right here, he's very desperate for this combo, and I think he was just very slightly too slow here. So he tries to get down or up smash. Thank you very much, Love John. I just rest. Well, yeah, I had some good rest. So Leo, uh, Leo goes for the down air, goes for the down or up smash, uh, but it doesn't work because uh, he's able to get away with Fox being a lightweight. Leo's down or up smash might kill a fifty. I'm not sure exactly. So Fox does nair to nair. So much more often, even in the Arsene variation as well. And it's such an effective tool. Leo goes in for the nair, but it's so these are the thing. Both these characters' nairs are pretty safe. Like right here, Joker could uh Fox could do an attack. Fox could grab, I meant to say. But Leo blocks. If Leo's block would have lost to Fox grabbing, but Fox is rarely grabbed because the risk reward ratio for Fox grabbing, well it's it's not it's not it's not huge, you know? So, Fox gets a grab, throws him off, laser. Quick trump! That was really nice. Now, it would actually be more ob- yeah, Wait, I want to see something. So, it, it actually, it would have been more optimal if Light just landed and down smashed, although it would have been hard to tell if that had enough time. So what he does here, he gets the trump. But it's not a super fast trump. So Leo could air dodge. Because the trump isn't right away, Leo's able to air dodge before guaranteed bear. Light knows the bear isn't guaranteed, but that people like to DI in while air dodging because they want to survival DI the bear. So everybody does that flow chart. This very con scenario for both sides. So Light knows that. Light knows the guaranteed bear is not real, but that everybody's going to hold in while air dodging because they want to survival DI the bear and not die at 100. So he knew that air dodge was coming because it's pretty obvious it's coming. So he gets the bear anyway. Leo barely lives though. Another trump. And Light tries for the same thing. Did not work out this time. But Leo jumps over him for some reason against Fox's giant up smash. Leo get more involved. Uh, <laughs> no Light, Light moves around again. You see here. This is an important data point. If you're a Fox, if you're a Fox player trying to learn, by the way, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm trying not to pause or ramble too much. I'm trying to make it shorter and sweeter for you guys. So right here, this is like some important thing. You see how Fox always wants us at low damage? You can see this is one of the things Light specifically uh, fishes for. Because the risk reward ratio for it landing is high. Now, it's obviously not going to be as good if the opponent knows you're fishing for it. But if the opponent doesn't know in advance you're fishing for it or is doing specific counterplay to avoid it, the, re the reward being so high, like the combo he could get for this landing, makes it worth going for. But again, it looks like he was getting a sure grab again, but he didn't. Both of them doing safe aerials. Light tries to get dash attack for a combo. Grabs ledge. Again, another dare. So you saw what I was talking about earlier. Look at this combo. Now, I want you to think, why did this combo happen? It's just what I said earlier. Here's why it happened. It's all about risk reward ratio. Getting your big launchers early. Kind of like Palatina wants her nair at zero. Game wants wants his nair. Steve wants his, honestly, anything. Because <laughs> it all leads to <laughs> killing you. Uh, this down air. 
Right here, if we go slower, you can see it's a bigger hitbox at the end. Look. See, look, see how the frame? It doesn't even look like it's nearby, right? One frame at a time. But look, bam, it hits anyway. Big circle at the end. It's a big circle around the foot at the end. And when this hits, when this hits, you get all this reward. This is why you got to watch. Whenever you're at zero, you have to watch out for this against Fox. Both the full up there and the ledge up there if you're at zero. Very important. People don't uh, play the counterplay game enough. This is something I had to do against Hungrybox and other players for years. I was like, okay, I'm going to make their life difficult because... They want their easy, cheesy, 0% launcher stuff, making sure it's harder. And you basically get all those combos. Dare, dare, dare in the uppers. Parry? Oh, but that's, he, even though he parried, the second hit didn't work. He parries, but the second hit does not work. Leo could have up smashed. Leo could have literally did a dash left into a running up smash and gotten the KO here. But he was un unable to. Okay, that could have easily been a running up smash on reaction. I don't agree with this. Uh, so he gets the downer. He could have actually just up smashed. He could have up smashed. I think he could react to left or right. Or just dash right and running up smash to cover everything except left on autopilot. But he went for fair instead, which didn't kill. But it puts him in a bad spot. He might die anyway. He might die anyway. I, even though this worked, I don't like what Leo did. And it's because it didn't cover all the options. Right here, you should do what Melee Sheik does against Melee Fox. Drop, double jump rising bear. This stops Fox from going straight. It, Leo's neutral getup would have lost the Fox going straight. But what I just mentioned with the bear, we have beaten that. So what Leo did was not optimal. He just got lucky that he guessed the 50-50 right. Whereas with, if he did the bear, he would not have had to guess at all. And it would have been a guaranteed death from that position against Fox. Because he still could have did that anyway. So, even though these auto cancel moves are not technically safe, like right here, you can. Okay, never mind. You can't grab it because Fox is invincible. Wait, actually, is he? Oh, he loses his invincibility, like right there. So, I guess technically you could have grabbed him. But uh, usually you're not thinking about that at the time. Especially because it's like down to the wire. You're usually trying to get away. Nair, dash attack, tries to two frame, doesn't work. Leo is very good at this in particular, where the opponent tries to ledge roll. Leo is very good. Okay, so this Nair was to just in case the enemy jumps early. But Leo in particular, more than other players, is really good at pivot grabbing roll, uh, rolls. He's so good at pivot grabbing ledge rolls, it's actually crazy. Like other players, I, I can't even think of a single other player in the world who's as good at pivot grabbing ledge rolls. Like, you just ledge roll randomly thinking, oh, Leo won't expect this ledge roll this time. But it'll always get you. Not always, but very often. Like, more more than anybody. And if you're at kill percent, he'll, like, pyre up till you or something at, like, 120 and kill you. Even if you don't ledge roll often, he'll still find a way. Nice little sequence there. Down throw fair. Then you shoot the projectiles to wall them off. Then you get the down air. Then the Trump, Leo's been doing a lot of ledge trumps. I've been telling him for years, since 20, late 2016, when I started coaching him and he was on my team, about how the power of uh, ledge trumping is very good. Uh, but even even in the more recent times, recent years, he's been doing that that a lot right now. So that, that, that's really good. So, let's go. Let's focus on the match again. Here, I think you... I'm not sure, but I think you could maybe grab. Actually, I'm, not, I'm actually not sure. I don't want to guess. Fox is near. Fox is near is very safe. I think Fox can usually actually near jab before he can do anything. So, I think I'm wrong. Fox can usually near, near jab if he does it right. How do you get that up smash? Oh, fair one. Oh, Leo always does this. Leo's always looking for fair one up smash with a uh, Joker. Oh, parries. Once again, Light parries a single hit. But he did this earlier with Leo's down air. 
Parry to hit, got hit by the second. Same here. Parry to hit, got hit by the second. Light, by the way, is one of the best parriers ever. He goes for parry all the time. That's why the multi-hits can mess you up. Or, or Tomahawks. He wanted that kill, didn't work out. Up air drag down, but it wasn't enough to work. Is that a kill? Remember when I mentioned earlier when Light was at 53? That's why Leia went for this down air. He sees the fox at 50. Knows he has rage. If you get this, it's a kill. Because fox is light. Being a fast follower actually helps you a lot more in melee in terms of surviving off the, the ceiling than it does in this game. In this game, it's mostly just wasting your weight. But in melee, I'd almost argue that fa the falling speed is actually almost the entire, like, 90% of your survivability up and down. Let's go to game two real quick. I'll try to go this a little faster because I don't want to waste your time. So let's go a little bit faster now. So, Leo does bear grab. Bear fair. Oh! A quick kill. So, bear grab, down throw. It would actually been better if Leo did an air here because an air would have extended the combo more. Then he goes for a double jump a read because I call this double jump aerial fadeback. You cover it just in case they double jump, but if you're wrong, you're still fading back and controlling center. Shoot the projectiles, because you know there's no risk of shooting the, the projectile. That F tilt angle down doesn't work. But remember how I said Light loves his down airs at, if you're at low damage? You can evade it. Leo messes up his raw, I think. He think he could have dashed more to the right of this raw. I think he messed it up. Or no, he did it a little too early, I think. Again, Leo knows Light really wants to jump. Did Light try to down her again? He did it here. Did he try to do it again? Maybe it was a fair. He, oh, yeah. This time he goes for a fair and almost hits him. But he doesn't. Shoots him again. Oh, and Leo acts, dude. Leo is so good at this. Just so you know, neutral getup is only a one frame window to hit. So right here... This is Leo's F smash. These two frames missed. This is the last frame X could have hit. This is frame 34. Most, like 90% of the cast or something like that, or close to 90% of the cast, is, invincible, is only hittable in frame 34. Leo either like knew or reacted, not sure which, to get that F smash. He's very good at this, more than any like anyone else I know. So Leo probably thought, okay, I just, I just stopped your ledge jump twice. I know you're not stupid enough to jump three times after I just punched it twice. So you're going to do the other safe option, lead stand. Thinking that's safe. I'm going to be frame perfect. Okay, technically you had like a two or three frame window to hit that. So you don't need to technically be frame perfect. Uh, but yeah. I can kill a joker. Yep. Okay. Absorbs it. Light's been doing this thing more where he tries to read jumps with the up air. But I've seen him do this more in the in the, in the recent sets. He he likes to do he likes to jump up air if he thinks they're gonna jump. And since it all the cancels, it's hard to whiff, it's hard to punish on reaction. Leo tries to get this. He might get ledge shot aerial. Does he have time? He does have time. Yeah, that's what I was saying. If you miss that down tilt, if you depending on how early you did the down tilt, the, the enemy might have an invincible like a guaranteed hit. So if Leo did this even sooner, if Leo did this sooner, because he only missed this barely. I'm surprised this missed this. It looks like this should have hit. It looks like this should have hit, honestly. It's kind of dumb it didn't hit. But you get ledge hop dared for it. Double dash. Micro double dash. Light loves doing this thing where he does like jump bear and jump bear again when you're cornered to try to kill you. Here, it's not quite the same, but he's doing jump nair, jump nair. So he does jump to jump. Kind of like how my Sheik and Melee might do like short hop fair twice instead of doing a jab or tilt or dash away sometimes as a mix up. It's kind of like the same concept. Nair. It's very good to put aerials out to stop the people from jumping. Something that Dinner Mancer doesn't do enough. 
Just like that. It's so easy. And there, Fox does the, uh, Fox does the, uh, dash attack. You do it a little early. And then because it's the end of the dash attack, that means it combos into this. Or at least combos enough that there's no frame three escape option. <laughs> it'll be edited don't worry or maybe it won't it might be funnier you think it'll be funnier <laughs> i can't tell if you're being serious i'm assuming you're joking i thought i i i'm just gonna assume that you're joking because it's total it's totally a joke all right fox does down tilt bear dash attack true combo gets the up tilt good sequence So Fox catches the dash away here. So right here, this is the melee. This is the melee. See how Fox knows Joker's going to retreat? He gets the retreat. And Fox, are you at 50? Are you in the 50s, Fox? You are in the 50s? I guess you're at kill percent. 50s, kill percent. That actually, bro. Yeah, if you're if Fox, dude, I think it's literally as easy as, oh, Fox is that Fox, Fox's first digit is five. If the Fox's first digit says five, Leo just goes for downer. This is like the third or fourth time he's done this already. If I'm light, I'm just going to keep in mind that. <laughs> they came with the Nair, didn't work out this time. Nair grab, Fox goes for Nair, then gets the grab. That's a, some as Spargo does that too sometimes. I've been telling PL players that it's like pretty good to like, if you, just in case you think they'll jump right away, but then backup plan of stand up, you do aerial and then sure grab. That covers in case they jump right away. It's hard to punish the landing leg, and then you sure grab the stand up or get up attack. It doesn't cover everything, but it covers a lot of common things. It's actually pretty good. Exact same situation. Time and time again, but that there. Uh, so right there, Fox f tried to do the Firefox burn. Like when you do this. This move has burn to hit, but he lights a little too slow on it, so he doesn't. The hitbox doesn't come out in time before Leo gets the ledge. See again, you see the same thing. Look, jump to jump. Look, the exact same things we saw earlier. It, what, it's the light special. You jump instead of doing jab, you jump again. Uh, it's one of his tricks. I call it a trick because like it could be pretty good. And this is like the percent where. This is a really good percent. You see, Fox is going to fish this at certain percents. You might wonder, why is that the case? Well, if it's too low of a damage, then it either won't combo or won't kill combo, right? But if it's too high damage, there's a possibility of teching. But if it's at like, I don't know, let's say exactly 100 or whatever, the percent range probably varies on the matchup and the character and the rage and stuff. Let's just say 100, give or take a bit. At certain percents, it will both combo but also won't hit hard enough to get them a tech. It's just a guaranteed easy autopot kill with no counterplay from the opponent. So that's why Fox is going to, just in the same way that Fox is going to fish the full hop down or auto cancel or ledge hop dare auto cancel if you're at zero, Fox is going to do the nair fishing if you're at 100. These things are important to keep in mind when fighting against these characters because the top players are going to know the optimal way and they're going to fish based on the mathematics and probability. But if you know that, you could fight against the, knowing that they're going to do the optimal thing. And that would give you the advantage. <laughs> I used to do this a lot against uh, top players in Melee and other games to find success. It's, it can be very good to play to the mathematics. But then, it's like playing to the mathematics is optimal. But it becomes not optimal anymore when the opponent knows you're playing to the math and knows the counterplay to that. But very few people are in that second box. <laughs> So playing to the math is better 90% of the time. Unless you know that they know. And then it's still good, just not good as often. Oh my god, Fox's combos aren't... Dude, Fox got a down tilt and got 70 damage, bro. All this started from a down tilt. A down tilt. All Fox did was down tilt. And Leo even DI'd away. 
tried to jump away. It wasn't good enough. And he couldn't escape. He couldn't escape all that damage. He didn't have a, like... Even when it doesn't true combo... Remember, as I said, air dodge and downbees, both with and without arson, they're all frame three on activation. So the first two frames, you can't do anything anyway, unless the double jump gets you out of that range in the first two frames, which is rarely the case. So there, Light could have done a smash attack. Light, could, it was actually more optimal for Light to do down smash there, because then you get the Nair down smash. Actually, I'm not sure if Nair F smash would work, but Light just played safe with the F tilt, even though a smash attack probably would have been more optimal. Shot the laser, because why not? Nair, Nair to cover jumps. Bear, and to grab. Don't know what the bear was for, but... Try the two-frame, Nair's again. Tries to get that. Uh-oh. No, it's not enough. Uh, it's... Frag, for me, it was both. It's something I studied a long time ago for different situations. Like, most people are just trying to get their, their zero... Most people, the most constant errors is you try to get your 0% launcher and you try to get your kills as early as you can. That's like the main two common things. Your 0% launcher cheese and 0% uh, combo cheese, like 0 to 50 people with Palatine and Nair. Palatine is always one Nair at 0, same with Game Watch, you know, uh, stuff like that. And uh, the, oh, this move kills at this percent, so it's up smash because it kills now. Those are by far the most two common things to keep in mind. 0% stuff and dying at exactly the percent that you can die at. Or like 10% higher than that. So right here, right here, Fox doesn't nair. And as you could see, remember last time? Do you remember last time when Fox did the nair when Joke was at 102? And it did not knock over? But this time, Leo's at 100. But it does knock over. Now, do you wonder why that is? That's because of something known as the rage mechanic. There's a rage mechanic in this game. Which starts at 35% and ends at 150%. So 0 to 35 is like the same. And like 35 to 150 is a straight line on a graph. And then 150 to 999 is the same. And in oh, Smash Ult 4, it was like a... I think it's like a 5 to 1 ratio in Smash 4 of like knockback. So like 36 damage is the same as the opponent being at like 1 more percent or something. Or maybe I have it backwards. Uh, uh, yeah, it's like a 5 to 1 ratio where, where like it's... Of your opponent to you, where only a knockback, where it's like it's not significant, but it gives a little bit more knockback. So it's as if Leo had like, so since Fox is at 65, that's as if Leo had like 106 damage or something. I could be wrong. That's how it would be in Smash for you. And 106 is obviously more than 102, so it's still knocked down. So even though Leo's number said 100, it's it's actually not the case with Rage considered. So it's like Rage mechanic makes it a little complex, and a lot of stuff is like. It makes it more complicated because instead of knowing an exact number, it's like you kind of know the numbers, but then you have to kind of feel out the rage because you're not going to know it exactly just by looking at their number because you have to factor in the feel of your rage too, you see? So anyway, that's some nerdy stuff, but I'm just explaining why he got knocked down at 100 but didn't get knocked down at 102 earlier. So right here, Fox is act Light does this thing where he looks for tech roll, and then if, he if you tech roll, he running up smash with you. If you tech in place, he knows the opponent's scared in shields, so he just grabs you. So if you knew this about Light's habits, you would just tech in place and then do something that isn't shield. Because he doesn't try to up smash tech in place. He only goes for the guaranteed stuff. So he, he would have killed up with up smash on tech roll, and he'll grab the tech in place, even though this wasn't true. So if Leo knew this habit about Light, Leo could just tech in place and then full hop down air up smash. And that would have killed Light. But uh, it's not like Leo knew that. I know that because I'm a nerd and I figure stuff out really fast. Yeah. Uh, Fox could have shrill hot double laser there to get more damage instead of just missing a laser. Black goes for dash attack because he wants to get dash attack bear, but he got the strong dash attack instead of the weak one. If he got the dash attack a little earlier, it's still 8 damage, so it's still good. A good outcome for Light. But let's say he did it even sooner, and the, the strong dash attack missed. But then the weak one would have hit. Then... Leia would have went like half the distance and Light could have most likely comboed a weak bear on no DI. Uh, I mean, a jump bear on no DI and would have killed Leo. So that's some other stuff you could consider. But all that's useful stuff. So remember when I said earlier in this set that Light likes to do jump bear, jump bear, and, and the same way he does jump near, jump near? 
Well, this is what I mean. He does this in every single set ever. If the opponent is at kill percent, he just does jump bear and then jump bears again. If you notice about him, you could just block the first bear and then up smash or do some or do like something that isn't rolling because he might just up smash your rolling. And don't try to shield him and get shield poked. You can just block and not care, but yeah, just be just be aware. A lot of players have their habits and set play flow charts that are just good overall. And you have to do specific things to beat them. And right here, he catches the neutral stand. Now, neutral stand is only a one frame window. But uh, it hits here. But you gotta remember, even though neutral stand is a one frame window, like if you look here, you can see it's not really one I mean, it's even though it's one frame to hit it, because moves are active for several frames, it's not that simple. So watch here. See, this is back air, active on 9, 10, 11. So what you see out here, 9, 10, 11, and they're all strong hit. This is one of those rare moves that doesn't have a weak hit box. It's kind of weird. It's kind of rare. Actually, most moves have like a strong hit box at the beginning and then a weak hit box. Kind of like Nair is strong, 4, 5, 6, and then weak, 7 through 23. Bear is only a strong hit box for three frames. So Light actually had a three frame window to hit neutral stand. And even if it's blocked, it's not so bad. So now the 1-1. One, one. That goes in for Nair, where he could have got a Nair grab, which would be a lot better on a fast folder. Because it's it's very easy to land, Nair grab. Actually, Nair grab won't pretty much at 0 against anybody. But you saw Leo do that earlier. He should have did it again. It would have been a lot more damage than dash attack. Leo didn't like his position, so he just rolled away and reset neutral. But, uh, Leo did up air, but, but after that... The entire move was not blocked, so Leo gets a combo. Shoot a fireball. Usually he shoots a fireball here. He didn't do it this time. Probably should have. For our bear. There he goes for the nair, but light jumps right away. It avoids it. Shoot fireball and projectile. Probably down tilt. Yeah, it's always down tilt there. It's just the same flow chart every time. Not every time, most of the time. Like you shoot a fireball, jump off, shoot a gun. Usually you either try to down air here or down tilt. It's usually one of the two. Sometimes this combo, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of weird. Usually it doesn't. And this down air worked right there. Right here. Good down air. And the thing with Fox in this game is that unlike melee, unlike melee, Fox in this game has really bad recovery. So like... Right here. Fox can't really do all the different angles that you can in melee. And it can't lose them through you, or it's not as fast. Or... So Fox can do like this 45 angle or like straight line stuff. So Leo doesn't really have to consider all the different angles that are possible in melee. You just know that like, okay, you kind of have, you kind of put yourself in a bad spot. I don't have to worry about this angle because this angle doesn't exist. I just have to worry about this angle. This off this awful terrible angle. And then you just hit it. Because that was the only thing you could have did in that position. So that's why I don't it's just the bad I mean, Fox was kind of screwed when he had to. Let me see. So the moment this move landed, he was screwed. Fox's best chance was to uh up be right here. Like, and try to go straight and hope that he was high enough to grab the ledge by going straight. He would have to up you, like, right now, go straight, and hope that he's high enough to grab the ledge. It does grab from deceptively high. And if, you, if Fox goes in a straight line, he actually does grab it from deceptively high in this game, unlike Melee. Um, that was his best chance. The moment Light fell to here, it was over. It was already over. It was easy checkmate. Not only was it checkmate, it was easy checkmate. Easy checkmate. Again, remember when I said earlier in this set that Light likes to up air? Uh, from I knew from previous videos that Light likes to up air because not only do you get a big combo, look, he does it even though even he could grab, but he's like, okay, Leo might jump. And when I'm correct, it's not just what has the highest chance of hitting. It's also, this has a decent chance of hitting, but also a big reward for landing. I get at least a two-hit combo more. And since it has a 
either low landing lag, or in this case, I think it's an auto cancel on landing, short all up air. Uh, that means even if you miss, by the time the opponent realizes that you missed your short up air, it's already too late for them. But just based on human reaction time. So you're not, they're not going to be able to whiff punish you on reaction to you missing a short up air, especially if they didn't expect you to do it in the first place. See right there? You see a lot of the same stuff. Ariel. Ariel, but then here he goes for, instead of shielding, he goes for the dash. He likes, Light likes his dash attack combos, because then you get a combo. See, he, he, as I said, he likes the combo, but there Light wasn't confident in getting the combo. He thought that maybe he hit the dash attack too early. If he hit the dash attack at like the beginning frames, the beginning frame or frames, uh, you have less advantage by the time your move finally ends. So less likely to get a combo. Here, Light wasn't confident this cycle only combo. So here, he knew it would combo. But on this one, Light wasn't as confident that it would combo. He could have went for a dodge up air read or some, or he could have tried the combo anyway. Maybe it would work, but maybe it wouldn't. It would have been down to the wire, like barely working or barely not working. And there, and to, you could, yeah, remember when I said earlier, you aerial grab? That's the flow chart I was talking about earlier in this set. You can see a lot of things I talked about earlier coming to fruition later in the set. Uh, the trump, see, uh, the same thing, but you can actually smash attack now, but light might turn around and grab, knowing that Leo's scared. Nope, he didn't do it this time. You can up smash there, but I don't know if it'd be fast enough. Oh, Leo, oh, I was gonna, oh, never mind, he's only at 20%. Looked at the numbers wrong. Yeah, it's better to get a combo than drag down there. Light does this thing a lot. Where he goes here, he likes to light likes to go like over here. Usually he goes goes right here, and then he air dodges here. Light's doing a little bit more to the left than earlier now, but he usually does it like this, and he'll like directional air dodge here. That's one of his many tricks. A lot of top players, in reality, I don't want to say we just have a bunch of tricks, but we just have a bunch of tricks. And uh, our bag of tricks, also called known as fundamentals and stuff. A bag of tricks is much bigger than a less experienced player. Most less experienced players are like one trick pony. But a top player might be like a 10 trick pony. But if you memorize some of those tricks, you would know that, oh, if Light's over here, jumping like this, based on video footage of him earlier, there's a high probability he'll do that. It's like if you knew this about Light from studying videos earlier, you would know that this air dodge is the only likely to come. Just from either playing the person a lot or studying video footage. And that's like, a lot of stuff I'm saying is like what I had to do, what people did to me, and what I had to do to other people in competitive brawl and melee for years. It's like a puzzle and you figure it out. Half the battle is skill, but the other half is figuring out what they do and hit the counters. Easy kill. As we mentioned earlier, he can't really do anything. How did he get there in the first place? A dash attack. And that was a really bad illusion by Fox. Joker's f toe angle down. Even with our Senate goes lower, but it's still very easy to sweet spot. This f toe was more like, man, Fox, I just hope you're going to not play well right now. Fox, I hope you play bad right now. So that this f toe angle down can hit. And then the Fox did play bad right there. Right, stalling off stage. Oh, instead of going to the ledge, he was tricky. Tricky with it, look, and he does this, up he cancels, slides. He's being fancy. He eyes away from the Fox dash attack so that he don't get comboed. Leo, as you see there, he uses movement to make uh, Fox want to roll. Right here, uses movement, makes Fox want to roll, then gets that. Oh! Oh, that was so bad. So I guess Fox, it's okay. I was lying when I said Fox only has a 45 degree angle, but the amount of angles he has is exponentially worse than it. Like, there's no option that's like almost slightly higher. There's no, there's no angle that's like this or this. Or like this or this. It's just a bunch of stuff that's 45 or near to 45. It's still bad, but it's not exactly what I said. But it's still close enough that you can cover a lot. So, did an air to 
you know, Fox loves his jumps or edge drop, double jump dares. Hit that. Gun down. And get Fox under the stage. I think Fox could have found a way to survive that. But he didn't dare. Uh, one second. Tomahawk grab, I think. Again, you saw the same dare we talked about earlier. You can learn a lot about the launchers. See, look, right here. Look, same flow up there by Fox. Again, it mixes it up sometimes not to do the same thing every time. Leo's just covering center. Focus on coming center. Leo waits for an extra attack just in case Fox jabs, but here Fox up toted. Still waited a quarter second extra before doing the option. Still work. Up air, up air. Light just did a tech roll in to trick him. That's an easy punish. No attack. Does do it again. Those Fox is scared. Over center, Fox, Fox just runs under him. Spaces the attack. Technically, technically, Leo could have just blocked an up smash here, but he wasn't expecting it. So like right there, he could have blocked this dash attack and up smashed. Leo also could have blocked this rising near and up smashed. But Leo didn't expect these things to happen. By the time Leo realized the dash attack hit his shield, and by the time Leo realized his near hit his shield, it was too late. He didn't think it would actually happen, and then it happened. He wasn't ready for the up smash punish. Got the dash attack, then a jump read. He got a jump read here for the kill. See the downer again, but Leo knows he can grab that. No combo though. That F tilt, as I said, it's not that good. Look, another downer, he wants it badly. Leo could turn around, drop shield, turn around, grab or try to bear the shield or double jump footstool uh, gun down. I think he went for double jump footstool gun down. Yes, you see right here? See how, see, you see this ring? Remember what I mentioned, double jump footstool gun down is the fastest? See this ring? This is the double jump. He attempted the footstool here. But unfortunately, Fox was too far to the left of him. So it failed. The footstool failed. And now he's getting comboed. Oh, a one hit combo, I guess. <laughs> Remember when I said the early dash attack so he could get a combo? But I guess at zero or close to zero, you get the reverse up tilt instead. I like how every single time Light gets a kill, if Light ever kills you, he always rolls up his sleeves to show off his biceps. It's really funny. <laughs> Leo could have actually just done down throw fair into regrab with and then up. Leo could have actually just done down throw rare fair, down throw jump, slightly delay a fair, da dash grab, up throw, up air into imagination combo. But he just did back throw because he wanted to, he wants to cheese him and hold center. In hindsight, he should have just did the combo I said. In melee, it's more easier to gimp the how you say gimp the fox at zero. In this game, you you definitely want to get your low percent combos though, unless you're fighting like a character for really bad recovery like Little Mac. Other than that, like very few characters, you usually just want to take the guaranteed combo low damage for the consistency it offers. Again, that's the third time the parry if it didn't work. Gets a combo. You know, it kind of reminds me of Raster's down there where it drags you the, it drags you the opposite way. Well, it's not, but Raster's is different based on where it hits you. Oh, he could have, he could have F smashed. It wouldn't have killed though. Missed the punish. Downer, but oh no. Leo 
He what? The first digit wasn't yet a five. Remember when I made made this joke that the first digit? Remember when I made the joke that the first digit had to be a five? Actually, it wasn't even close. Maybe the first digit with no rage, with very little rage, which is basically two damage of rage. Um, he might as well have waited even way longer than that. If Leo had like max rage at 49, it probably would have been a kill combo though. About testing it, just my guess. Light made a jump read there. Light did a tomahawk, but instead of grabbing, he did up air. So right here, he knows Leo's scared. He knows Leo's gonna block this aerial, but psych, the aerial didn't happen. Leo, uh, Fox could have grabbed, but instead he's doing this up air because it's safer in case he's wrong and it catches a jump. Exactly, he's looking for an arrow smash. See? Oh, well, he misses it. The bear barely, you could say it, barely killed. Okay. Long to shut up. Ah, he did gun down. I don't like the gun down. Didn't do anything. Gotta get him off stage to the fair. Nice down air. Leo's get. Leo is really good at hitting that down air for Joker to kill the fox. He's really good at using that down air to kill the fox. It's kind of sad that everyone dropped Aegis, bro. Everyone's like Aegis is broken, and then, and the Aegis, then the F smash got nerfed, and then something else and. And everybody just loses and does better if they're old mains. Now I have no Aegis footage to study. Up air, up air. Nobody, oh, Leo failed to land on the platform. Had Leo landed on this platform, he would have extended. He would have got a combo. He meant to land here, but he failed. If he did, it would have been an extension. Uh, Leo, uh, Fox messed up. Fox could have just kept blocking the up air, but he didn't block the last hit. You see, Leo keeps doing that. We see more of history repeating itself. Right here, Tomahawk up air misses. Leo tries to down air, but the first number is 40, so you're not going to get that. And Leo gets the F to angle down, and Fo Fox fails. That's free. So all this happened because Fox did an illusion that was not good enough, uh, not low enough. Right here, this is a very bad Fox illusion. It was so bad. It, it wasn't high enough to go on stage, but it wasn't low enough to sweet spot the ledge. It was just terrible. It was newbie. It was bad. And Leo killed him for it. This F tilt angle down is saying, Fox, I hope you mess up again. And you did mess up. Because of that, you die. Now I just jump off stage, kill the illusion, but you don't even have to. Because Fox can't do anything here. Because Arson Counter is like this big. It's like the whole. Arson Counter is like this freaking big or something. With, even if you're, even if Fox is like right here, and it's somehow. If Fox is like right here, like right here, it would still counter and hit push him that way and kill him. And that's that set. Now, Light does 3 on later. Um, but before you guys go, make sure to read the first two pages of my Google Doc if you want to help me by subbing to the channel, uh, just keeping the streams on, or booking coaching, or any of the other things I have here. Maybe my Discord or whatever. Uh, much appreciated. And thanks for watching. And that'll be this video. Make sure to subscribe as well.